Hey everyone, Electropolitan's Hebrew Jonah here, uh, giving you a tutorial on how to make your own Smash 4 sound mods, sound effects, uh, maybe a little bit of music, I'll cover that. Um, so I actually already recorded my audio for this, but um, while making the video I accidentally closed that, so uh, <laughs> here we go again, take two. Pre-recorded stuff. So I'd say to get your um, sound files, the three main things you could do are wikis like this, um, I have a t uh, TF2 Heavy. Uh, shift click or no control click excuse yeah, me easy up. open it up right click save download um, I think there's some other shortcut to do that you want to use as many shortcuts as you can you're gonna do a lot of clicking and it gets very tiresome on the hands and fingers so just try and use your shortcuts a uh, YouTube YouTube's great um, you can rip sounds easily just you can see so much stuff here you usually try to get the high quality stuff and the newer videos are the better usually um, yeah, you can just copy the URL, paste it into it. one of those anything to MP3, YouTube to MP3. You can just Google those to find them. Um, hopefully, you have, you have ad block if you do that. <laughs> it could be a little crazy, so uh, just be wor uh, wary some. There's also um, you can just Google it straight up, like R2D2 sound effects, R2D2 voice lines. Uh, I get stuff like this. I'm about to preview this in a second, so just I'm gonna watch your face. Um, however, I'd say this is kind of unworkable. Did it play? I actually have it just muted. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say it's unworkable because there's so much background audio that amplifying that in-game would just sound terrible, especially repeating over and over again. But this is a bad example. So if you find a, uh, someone with very clear audio, let's say Duke Nukem, go for it. It's up there recommended. I mean, I, now I feel like I have to click it. Um, yeah, this is pre-recorded, so I have no idea you know, what I'm even talking about originally. Anyway, this guy... Uh, Jam one Garner, he made like a guide, or maybe he made it. It's the Nest 3 Bank thing. Uh, here's a link to it, you can just download all that. Although the only one you need to focus in is the one I'm about to click on. Yeah, that one. So you'll have to right click it. I have some trouble with it. Right click, open with Python. And then you have to download Python. Well, you know, first you download it, then right click and you know, all that. Because I try and get that going. <laughs> um. See, I think he has a link to Python. Maybe he doesn't. If not, just Google Python 2.7.11. You want, yeah, you want that specific version. If not, you'll get some errors. You might not even be able to open the friggin' thing. You want that version. I'll link all this crap in the description, so don't worry. And I apologize about the uh, mess. <laughs> when, when you start doing this, you get a lot of crap. Also, you need FooBar if you want to preview uh, your sounds. Otherwise, you can just blindly look, and it, you should really just preview them. You're gonna need this thing. It's a plugin, VGM Streamer Decoder, um, or also just won't work. I'll show you how to do it in a second. So just uh, hang on. So opening it, it opens up the command prompt. I don't think you actually need the command prompt. I just minimize it every time. We're gonna file open. We're gonna pick out an S3 bank. Oh, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Uh, I don't pick Ganon. What did I pick? Oh yeah. So I show you how to um, get it from straight out of the game. The dump. So hopefully you have a dump already. If not, there's plenty of tutorials. I could link one or recommend one or something. So go into your fighters. Uh, I'm gonna pick out Captain Falcon. There's also sound effects. I'm about to talk about it. Come on, what the hell is taking me so long? Yeah. So there's SE for sound effects, VC for voice. If you have CO blah 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 at the end, that's just for that specific skin only. Uh, if not, it applies to all the skins. So you want to right click it, extract it. That'll take it into uh, this folder, which I'm about to get. It's very messy desktop. <laughs> it's like uh, my room, you know. You know, I haven't, uh, haven't uh, cleaned my bed. What was the expression? I don't even know. Whatever. I put it on the desktop, <laughs> like everything else. Throw it on the bed. Make my bed. That's the expression. Anyway, so you open it up in Nest Three, uh, the Nest Three Bank Editor, and you want to replace it. So replace, uh, replace it with some line of dialogue, or you can. I don't do it just yet. I open up Foobar to preview it to make sure. Sounds all good. Oh, I forgot to mention this. If you want to extract it, like let's say you want to make a metal version of Captain Falcon, or change his voice to have a high pitch or something, uh, mm, let me just do it right now while this is going. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Man, how unprofessional of me. I'll edit this later. <laughs> Pretty sure there's a way to convert. Quick convert, what the hell is that? Ah, uh, yes, okay, in FUBAR, you can right click it, quick convert, quick convert to wave or something. I haven't actually done that yet, but I imagine that would work. So anyway, once you get it up into FUBAR, you can preview it, Punch! and listen to the various sounds and whatnot. Uh, 
Yeah. You can tell what something is by its name. Well, uh, <laughs> like, uh, VC is usually pretty silent. There's sometimes uh, final smashes there. Appeal is taunt. There's a few Japanese words you might have to learn. Uh, I'd say stay away from swimming. Here I'm explaining the sound effects versus voices. Stay away from swimming. It's just unnecessary. I mean, if you really want to, go for it. Here I explain announcers and the juke you, which is very important. Um, it has like everything in it. Uh, hit sounds, menu sounds, pause sounds, a lot of stuff. You're going to be opening well, it. Yeah, I'm going to do. You'll be doing that a lot. So I'm talking about the various sounds. You got cliff catching, damage, hoshiki, which you can hear is the scream when you blast off the market. Uh, getting damaged, uh, winning. I'd say when you're uh, downloading your or getting your sounds that you're gonna replace, try and name them by like Falcon, like F Attack One, F Attack Two. It'll be seven attacks. This way, you can easily just pick and choose, like you know, go one by one, and you can do rapid fire. I can make packs really easily. Whoops. And if you can, try and do uh, the ma the keyboard as much as you can. The mouse, it's it's really gonna wear on you. I'm telling you, man. Carpal tunnel. Watch out. Uh, so I'm explaining the, the various ones. Oto, I think, is when you're passive and you don't move for like 20 seconds, which you'll probably never hear in game. <laughs> Falcon! Oh uh, yeah, that one's you know the Falcon Punch. I don't have my audio on, so I don't hear it. <laughs> it is the various stuff. So we're gonna replace that. I have a pre-existing pack I worked on on the desktop. Uh, I did a Sonic Mercury one, so I'm gonna use that. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. So if you make an announcer pack, you're gonna have a lot of crap all over. But I'd say keep it for like a day or two until people are done complaining about how it's not loud enough or something. Um, what? Then, because it, it, if it's on the desktop and all that, it's really easy to fix. Once you clear that recycling bin, it's it's a nightmare. It's, well, I guess you could just right click the foobar and export to Wave and do it then. But I haven't done that yet, so I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's nice. Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, I'm um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. What the hell am I doing? Oh, oh. So what I'm gonna do here? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna open uh, the uh, Smash Four Explorer back up. I just show you. You just drag and drop it back in. It'll show up green. Green means it's a modded file or you know replaced. Black is like a default base game. And I think blue is recovered. I'm not entirely sure what blue is. So. Uh. Oh, uh, for the sound effects, you can also tell H for up, for high, L for low. Because once you get to, like, Marth sound effects or Game & Watch, you're going to want to kill yourself. Especially Game & Watch. Especially. There's a reason no one's done voice mods for Game & Watch. Like, you think I'm, go I'm joking, but this is serious shit, man. Anyway, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm, I'm putting up the Juke U. So this thing has everything in it. That is like a little bit too much. Like there's two meteor sounds, only one of which plays. So make sure you replace the second one, which I talk about later. Uh, 179. So yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff in here. Uh, if you want to preview it, yeah, there it is. Just you know, drag it all, put it in full bar to preview it all. Whole lot of stuff. Whole lot of stuff. Uh, announcer stuff. I believe it's just announcer menu. Yeah, announcer menu, announcer common. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a whole lot of stuff in here. A lot of the, if you, there's like melee and brawl sound packs, uh, that's where those would go. Uh, I'm just thinking if I got everything that I'm looking over. I talk about something pretty important right about now. But what was it? Oh, yes. So if you're going to do a pack for a juke you, I really recommend you add some numbers and an MP3 or wave on there. Because if someone wants to have a, have a meteor sound and a custom menu sounds and let's say an announcer, all those three things are going to be in the same file and you can only have one of them. So you can make your own custom one, including this special meteor and this special menu and this special uh, snapshot but, uh, sound effect. So if it'd be nice if you have an MP3 or wave. I guess you could just use the foobar and export it, I think. But and then you have to make them go through all that stuff, and people don't like it, and they give you negative comments, and yeah. 
<laughs> so I just showed off what it is. Also, Audacity, I strongly recommend. It's free. It's easy. To, oh, I'd say it's pretty easy to use. I've been using it for years. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's all you really need to do is a simple stuff. Amplify, maybe fade. Um, yeah, I show it off here. Amplify, fade. Uh, it could be a very fast program. Once you know the shortcuts to it, like I think, for the exception of Amplify, and you could do everything else with just the keyboard, which you're really gonna thank yourself later for doing. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's distortion. Make sure that the sound is not too loud but not too quiet. You gotta get a nice middle ground. If it's, yeah, if it's, you'll, you'll notice if it's too loud if you see a whole lot of red and peaking. And it sounds like a YouTube poop video. <laughs> yeah, try to avoid that. You, you, you don't want to hurt your speakers or your ears or you know the people uh, who you're gonna give it to eventually. <laughs> and don't have it too quiet. You just want it around zero dB, maybe a little bit over. Anyway, thanks for watching. I guess I'm done here. So uh, see you.